What's going on guys? This is the Red Rogue and today we'll be talking about everybody's favorite new zone that came with Shadowlands and possibly the only zone that has come out in the existence of WoW that is more beloved, adored, and appreciated than Vashir, the Maw. And while there probably are people that actually like the Maw, there are a lot of folks that I know, myself included, that would probably rather get their hands stuck in a car door than spend any more time in the Maw than they have to. And this video will hopefully help ease those issues. This is gonna be a bit of a hybrid between my awesome add-on series and Wicked Week Aura series, as I found a few things that should hopefully give you a little bit more quality of life before you jump back into that death hole in the middle of Ouroboros, so let's see what we have for our episode of Awesome Add-ons and Wicked Week Auras, the Maw Edition. So the Maw is the current, all-consuming endgame zone for Shadowlands. It is where you'll have to go to enter Torghast, Tower of the Damned, which you'll need to do if you want to make legendaries, and both areas play a huge part in the story of Shadowlands as well as a lot of the functional game mechanics. However, the Maw is kind of annoying to deal with sometimes. Uh, okay, most of the time. However, to get any reputation earnings with Venari or Stygia to buy a ton of your Torghast upgrades and other useful things, you'll want to do at least a modest amount of things in the Maw. There are already plenty of guides showing how to min-max the Maw and whatever, and honestly, I haven't bothered going through that much effort myself other than completing my dailies and killing as many rares and doing events until the Jailer's angry meter gets filled up. However, I have found some weak auras and an add-on that have proven quite useful. We'll start with the weak auras, as they're all pretty nice quality of life goodies and I'll be leaving links to all of them in a comment below if you're interested, and I also didn't make any of these myself, so credit is entirely due to each of their creators. I just found these and wanted to share them with you all, so that way maybe your next time in the Maw is a little less irksome. And the video is going to be segmented out as always, so you can kind of jump around to whatever you're looking for in particular. Our first week or is Eye of the Jailer Bar. This is basically just an easier to read and track version of the Angriometer, a cool looking UI thingy that Blizzard has as part of the standard UI that's in the top center of your screen when you're in the Maw. And while I'm all for aesthetics, I need something that's functional too. This new bar week aura does exactly the same thing as the standard UI, but lets you numerically see exactly how much and how many times you've pissed off the Jailer today. The bar will count up from 0 to 1000, and once it reaches 1000, it will increase your Eye of the Jailer counter by 1. Most things in the Maw will annoy the Jailer, so this will let you have a good idea of exactly how many more times you can kick his trash can over or whatever before he sends murder squads after you. Very simple and quite effective. This only shows up while you're in the Maw, so you won't have to worry about it staying on your screen when it isn't necessary which is quite nice. Our next week aura is a clickable cipher of relocation button. Quite literally, it works just like an extra action button for your little hearth item that you can buy from Venari that takes you back to Venari's refuge. It will also show you how many charges you have available of your cipher, and how long the cooldown remaining is before you can use it again. This also only shows up while you're in the Maw, so it lets you keep one more thing off your action bar, which with the unpruning that happened with Shadowlands can get a little cluttered. Speaking of the cipher though, it is definitely a cheap and very convenient item. But if you're like me, you might suffer from hamster brain syndrome, as I never remember to buy a replacement one. Well, this next week or is perfect for you then, as it will automatically purchase a Cypher of Relocation from Venari if you don't have one in your possession currently. Cyphers are only 60 Stygia, so I don't mind it automatically doing that for me, and with the special clickable Cypher button week aura, it basically means I won't ever have to worry about forgetting I have one available to use. Definitely a worthy install in my opinion. And for our add-on section of the video, I currently only have one that I've found super useful and would recommend. Unsurprisingly, it's an add-on I've discussed in the past but have seen some very impressive updates and inclusions to it. Handy Notes with the Shadowlands extension. Obviously, Handy Notes is a pretty awesome add-on that I've covered before, and there are tons of extensions you can use with it. The Shadowlands one is of course very nice because it shows you all your rares and treasures and whatnot, but what is even better is that it basically tracks everything you can do in the Maw. Things like rare spawns, bonus elites, bonus events, chaotic riftstone portals, Stygian casts, and grappling hook locations. What I really like about it though is that you can click this little treasure chest icon here on your map and choose exactly what you want it to show on the map as a filter, as well as the opacity of the icons and the scaling of them too. 
Handy notes can sometimes get a bit overwhelming with how many things there are on the screen that it's trying to track, so being able to enable and disable specific ones is an amazing feature and lets you really focus on just the things you want to. Depending on your guys' feedback on it, I might start a series of things that I've found in the Maw or plan to find in the Maw that can hopefully help make everything a little bit smoother for everyone. So I hope that these weak auras, add-on, and this video in general were helpful to you. If so, then any likes, comments, or new subscribers are all fantastic ways of showing your support for the channel. If you're new around to my little corner of the YouTube algorithm, then I'd like to welcome you to come check out the rest of the channel. I do new uploads every week down a variety of content, ranging from add-on and weak aura videos like this, to guides, tutorials, and naturally rogue-specific things as well. I'd also like to take this time to thank all of my regular viewers, commenters, subscribers, and especially my patrons, who all help make these Shiba shenanigans possible. Thank you all so much for watching. This is the Red Rogue, and I'll see you guys around.